Uh. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It yeah, is baby. Been a minute, but we are here. We are live. We are alive. We are alive, and we are local. Welcome back. Before we even start asking, yes, we will be watching Jimbo again tonight. All right, we might. Our even... Lord and Savior will make an appearance. Absolutely, and we're probably going to get into some uh, some Dar Man as well. I'm sure he's uploaded some more. Oh God, bangers. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, absolutely. I I feel like we should do everyone justice and just like. Get into Jimbo right off the bat. You want to? Actually? I, I really feel uh, like we warm should. Up? Yeah. <laughs> I know everybody wants to watch some Jimbo. Am I right, chat? You guys don't even know who Jimbo is. Don't lie. If you guys want to watch some Jimbo. Yeah, look at that. Let's get some Jimbo in the chat. By the way, congratulations uh, to Jimbo for hitting 30,000 subscribers. That is... That is fucking awesome. And Jimbo awesome. has noticed us. He yes. knows what's going on. Jimbo's aware. <laughs> Somebody tried to accuse Jimbo of buying subs on YouTube. Uh, yeah, what the fuck? Jimbo earned them subs. Jimbo got out his drill and his Bud Light, <laughs> and he got the 30K subs. Let's give it up for Jimbo, everybody. Jimbo's the man. A round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves everything that's coming to him. He's he does. A, he's a great guy. This supposed to be a life hack? <laughs> Fun, fun, fun. Farts are always fun. <laughs> okay. No telling what this could be. Mr. Jimbo, let's see what you got. What you been up to? <laughs> hey, hey, folks. Joe Clark here. You have to read that. And this is how you have fun with common drinking straws. Check it out. You want to occupy kids and have a great time? Check this out. Bam. You all want to see this trick or not? SpongeBob on TV. The SpongeBob movie. Yeah. On TV. Okay. <laughs> no real farts. Right now. Thank you, Jimbo. Oh my God. God. That's nasty. Why that? Why does that one stink? <laughs> Now, let's do it without the straws. I'm joking, dog. You twist the squeeze. This kid's gonna shit himself. <laughs> Did Jimbo discover that? Jimbo definitely invented it. So really, what we what we're interested in is the life hacks, right? I think so. Yeah. But it seems like he hasn't really uploaded very many life hacks. It's a moving like life hack. I could have used that for real. <laughs> Let's see what this is about. Not. How was this uploaded recently and it was snowing? Aiden, thank you for the five gifted. You live in the North Pole, Jimbo? Ooh, pool noodle life hacks. Hey, folks. Jim Clark, do you have to read it? We're mixing this? I'm going to tell you how to use your noodle. Woodford Reserve, if you guys want to sponsor us, please. This is the shit. Absolutely. This send is us, the send shit. Us, send us a few bottles, baby, if you know what I'm saying. I don't need money. Just give me a bottle. Give me a couple bottles here and there. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's the shit. Is it bad that I'd actually take an alcohol sponsor just for alcohol? <laughs> Not even money. Hell no. I just no money. Just That's give a me Jimbo alcohol. life hack right there. <laughs> We've all seen some of them. It's a little bit more what I like to call redneck smart. Okay. If you get little ones like I do, don't want to shut the door when you're in a room, but they can't let themselves back out and get stuck. Or to get the fingers pinched in the doorway, that's bad. <laughs> that Take a little piece of noodle, put it right there on top of the door, and they can't shut it. Pow. Pow, baby. All right, so you got your trampoline at home. A lot of dangers. One of which is your pinch points. You get a spring out, and the little fingers and toes get stuck in there, and you get a pinch point. That's going to hurt them. If it don't fit right in there, see, if it don't fit right in there perfect like that, you know, some don't, some are smaller, it's 
springs are different sizes. You can cut right down the middle of it in there like that. Duct Hell tape yeah. On. Thank you, Jimbo. A little duct tape. A little duct tape in there, baby. <laughs> People, here's another thing that I think even works better than noodles. I got 12 feet, 12 feet of pipe insulation here. On sale, mind you. I think it's like a buck fifty for all these. All right. <laughs> Sucker in there, it's like that. Pipe Check. insulation looks a lot like a pool noodle. Though. It does. It really does. Which one's cheaper? Pale. That's fucking genius. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm not going to lie. As a kid, the springs were always the scariest part of the trampoline. That is true. Because I always thought they were going to pop off and hit me in the eyeball. Or if you go off the side, if you weren't a little bitch and didn't have a net, then you go off the side and your leg goes in you through there. You had a net. My, I you, broke my Ethan, net. Ethan had a net. I broke the I net. Did, I didn't have a net on mine. Ethan had I broke the net, though. <laughs> I intentionally broke that net, and you know I did. I used to do flips over the net. You remember that? I do remember. I broke the net. Don't remember, try to. I remember uh, pushing you into the net. Yeah, and the net was broke. I broke it. Yeah. <laughs> One time I flew over that thing too. You don't have to out me like that. <laughs> this is where we did the Easter egg hunt. We've all seen when you put this underneath the bed sheet and it keeps the baby from rolling off and that's all fine and good genius idea but Excuse me. i love my baby we've all seen we've all seen it i don't know if i've seen that one yet jimbo not the pool noodle under the bed sheet we're just not <laughs> we're not intelligently advanced enough we yet. are not as awake as jimbo yeah exactly we're just not as aware of common <laughs> one percenter things as jimbo <laughs> he's more than more this. aware more more than one noodle See now, boom! If you love your babies you enough, you can just give them one little old noodle they can crawl over. Give them something a little bit more safer than that to lay up next to. You definitely want to put this on the outside of your bed underneath your fitted sheet. For a little one, that's going to be a lot safer. And if you have a boy and you, you, and you like him okay, and you love kids and you hope one day to have some grandkids, <laughs> This here's a handy dandy thing, crossbar. Why they got that there for boys' bikes, I don't know. When I was little, they had these, these had already come padded up. But you can put you some pads on there for the little ones. You can put you some duct tape on there if you need to. But that may cause, that may save your young boy out of the world of pain. Save them nuts! That's what he wanted to say. Chat! Let's get some save them nuts in the chat now, everybody. Come on now. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Oh, I love how, oh, I love everything about that. Save them nuts. <laughs> Head this knockers. here's a fort slash <laughs> play area I've been working on for the kids for some time. Potential head knockers. <laughs> Look at that. I thought that was just the name of a gay bar. <laughs> you know them build a like whole I always fort. say you got your smart... And then there's redneck smart. You gotta use your noodle. Don't forget, click on something, click on subscribe, like this video, share this video, yes. subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Pow! You That's got my right. vote, Jimbo. You got my vote. Jimbo is the redneck Heisenberg, <laughs> without a doubt. He is alive. If you're not subbed to Jimbo, what the, what the fuck, fuck are you doing? doing? <laughs> what the fuck going on? All right, let's do how to find your car key. How to find your car using balloons. There's no way. That's not genius. Let's see. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> They're going to think you have a kid. That you kidnapped just in your <laughs> trunk or something. <laughs> oh. Dude, you have to fucking repump your, your balloons like every other day. <laughs> now I'm going to the store. Let me get five balloons from Party City. <laughs> wow. Short and sweet. Hell yeah, Jimbo. Short and sweet. 
<laughs> How to eat chips like a redneck. <laughs> I love me some chips now, boy. Hey, folks, Jim Clark here, the How To Redneck. What up? Today, yeah. I'm going to show you how to serve up a regular bag of potato chips. Take a regular bag of potato chips, you open it up for your party, and all you do is you fold it under. <laughs> I love how, how fucking loud the chip bag is in the mic. All you gotta do. <laughs> All right, this is how you serve potato chips. First of all, you wanna. <laughs> <laughs> Great uh, editing. Open the bottom up. Oh, you gotta lay the chips on the side. You can serve the chips up right out of the bowl. Wow, I've never seen that before. Right there it is. How about never. that? How about that? Handy dandy bowl of chips. You sit it out for your guest. Just for your chips. You're not going to share those chips. You're going to eat them. <laughs> Jimbo, you're a fucking genius, man. I love oh, you. That is amazing. That is actually amazing. I've never just, even. Dude, why would you go and buy a bowl? And put the chips into the in, into the bowl at the party. Fuck a bowl. You can make your own little bowl, set it right there on the table. Absolutely. You've saved money. Absolutely. You've saved time, resources. Yeah. Uh, this man is on another, he is 100 years in the future. Third eye open. Open your pineal gland like Jimbo and maybe do some learning, Jack. This guy gave birth to Elon Musk. <laughs> this is Elon uh, Musk's real father. This is, yeah, <laughs> this is his true father. <laughs> Whatever they say his dad is, that ain't him. <laughs> it's Jimbo. Jimbo Musk. <laughs> you're just going to hold I'm it. sharing it with everybody. <laughs> but, mm. now why would you take... Dip them in some French onion. Like <laughs> French onion you're dip, baby. You're going to play single bag of regular potato chips. <laughs> There's more. You got the kiddos. Here we go. You're There's packing more. your lunch. A little picnic table type of lunch. Same What's thing. the backdrop? Now, what, what is this? Help, help them out a little Alien. bit. They can feel like they got something going on. Strut He's trying to tell us something. Strutting that ass. Strutting that ass. He's trying. <laughs> strutting that ass. Look. You'll be so goddamn fucking tired, <laughs> you won't be strutting that ass. By the time you get a new hope, you won't be strutting that ass. I was saying that yesterday, bro. I, really? I was saying it so much yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> By the time you're done watching this stream, <laughs> you'll be so goddamn fucking tired. <laughs> You won't be strutting that ass. <laughs> Jim Dude. Loop could without a doubt create the world's most destructive neutrino bomb only using aluminium foil, a power drill, and a microwave. He is a force to be reckoned with and we shouldn't tempt his godly powers. A hundred percent. He's trying to tell us something. Look at the yeah. picture right now. You got to pay attention to the details. He's trying to tell you. All you have to do is open your eyes. Open that uh, eye. He's extraterrestrial. Look. He's not of this world. Look at it. He's got aliens in the backdrop out of nowhere. Jimbo, it was a barn, and yeah. now it's aliens. It's a small thing. It's a small detail. You don't. You're not supposed to like be looking for this. You're supposed to just see. Maybe it could happen. I don't know. <laughs> He's from the future, everyone. From the future. Trick applies for you kiddos on the picnic lunch. How about that? Here goes a funion. That's good stuff right there. <laughs> but that's not all. But in wait, the future, Funyuns are good. <laughs> what, you love Funyuns? <laughs> in the future, I said. I'm still hungry. Funyuns are still good. You want to serve yourself up? I don't really like them, honestly. A little honestly. bottle of fun. Cheese it style. The same little trick, little ditty. All right. Dandy, dandy, little how ditty. to make you a, a bowl of cheese it's right there. Look it out. Now, you know what, Jimbo? You wouldn't have to do this life hack if these companies didn't scam you with a bag half full of fucking True. air. True. Now, that's all right. Maybe he's trying to tell you that, though. Yeah. Maybe he's that's to the tell overall you message. He's like, look, we are getting scammed, just so everyone knows. Somebody said, when the next God. census comes around, I'm putting my religion as Jimboism. Dude, please. <laughs> please. We should oh! all do it. Everyone please. put their religion as Jimboism. Oh, my God. <laughs> Imagine, <laughs> please! Oh, that would be so good. <laughs> They're like, "There's a new religion here in the U.S." 
Oh, dude, I want to make I want to make like merch. Uh, I want to make merch with Jimbo. Jimbo, hit us up. Uh, email me or something. Let's make some merch together. I want to. We need to. We need to make something happen for sure. Him and Tom Mabe or something. I don't know. We need to do a video together uh, for sure. I'll come to y'all. You just let me know. <laughs> we'll come. To I'll y'all. be there too. Don't you worry. Yeah, we'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that is. We have to Kobe down. It's a little mouthful happy on that. Something can happen. Something can happen. How about that? Or you, or you could just leave him in the box again. <laughs> it ain't as presentable. It don't have the pre- presentation. <laughs> it's a clear bag. It looks like they're floating. But wait, that's not all. Jimbo has more. So you, say you're throwing yourself a little bit more of an elegant. Okay. Soiree. Look at the up. An elegant soiree. Anybody? <laughs> what is that, Avril Lavigne in the back? Hunkers. Bag of cheese. There we go. Oh, a great classic. value bag. We got a charcuterie bowl. <laughs> Get you some toothpicks. Sit next to her. That's the charcuterie bowl. Now you know you're fancy when you got the great value cheese cubes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a toothpick. Classic. Oh. <laughs> so you want to serve your What's wrong, Jimbo? You want to serve your guests some Cracker Jacks. Maybe you're watching a baseball game on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> Look here. Oh, yes, sir. Just bring that prize right on up to the top. Yeah. Look at that. Hell yeah, Jimbo. Uh-huh. Cracker Cheers to up. Jimbo. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, now this one's my favorite. There we go. Get you a big old bag of happy right here. <laughs> a big old big bag, bag of happy. <laughs> this beautiful right here. See? He skipped the candy corn. Candy he did. Look at Jimbo. that. Jimbo. Look at that. Just sit it out there for your guests to enjoy. Okay. Well, that's just presentation right there, folks. Now you look here what we got. I feel I'm like. Decorated up here because I got another bag. Jimbo, where did you learn this? This I'm is this is genius. This he obviously taught a culinary class, and this is how he. he this is like Gordon Ramsay's level. Like he, yeah. this is up there. He he didn't learn it. He just he taught a course for fun in culinary class, and just you know. Jimbo knows share. what the fuck he's doing. Yeah, absolutely. That's the bottom line. Jimbo knows what's going on. Absolutely, he does. <laughs> he's awake. Your diabetic buffet. <laughs> <laughs> The diabetic buffet. Don't forget your, don't forget your, your five minute rule. If it hits the floor, you, got, economy, you only got a certain period of time before you get that stood up. Why is the kid stuck in the toilet? Thank, Thank you all for the donation. Right here, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Cheers. Cheers. Now you got your kitties taken care of with their lunch. Your party supplies. Uh, their, right. their lunch. <laughs> what? <laughs> cool Ranch Doritos. <laughs> What's the Grim Reaper doing? <laughs> Out there in traffic <laughs> with a dentist in the background. What is happening? Timbo, where are you from? <laughs> you got your cheese, your cheddar chips, your cheese. Big old happy party right there, folks. That's taking a brilliant idea and not just sharing it with your regular bag of potato chips. That's right. You take that to the next level. Next you level. You be the talk of the neighborhood. It's your it's your next Super Bowl party. Talk of the trailer park. <laughs> you be the talk of the trailer park. It's your next Super Bowl party. Fair enough. So there you go. Some talk oh. shitting in the background. <laughs> All right. All right. Nope. Oh yeah, I did my thing. Jimbo. It's like I ain't done. Wait, wait, wait. I ain't done yet. Oh, I'm eating them. I know. <laughs> yeah, the damn onions, Tommy. Now, Tommy's here's the other added benefit up. you got to present it this way in their own self made bowls. Party's over. Everybody done it. <laughs> you now, need to grab another piece of cheese. Have been consumed at this point, but. Look here. <laughs> he said, hang on a second. I need to grab another piece of cheese. You <laughs> have it right back. It returns to its original form. In its original <laughs> container. Just like Jimbo. Rubber band that sucker. Pow. Jimbo morphs back to his original to, form right for these videos. <laughs> in your closet there for whatever didn't get in. 
that. This is symbolic. Back in the closet. <laughs> Whatever didn't get ate, back in the closet. <laughs> and then you can roll that bitch right back to a bowl. Uh, the damn uh, funnies now, Tommy. They didn't have peanut M&Ms? They did, but they, they, they cost a little more. Oh, <laughs> Break for lunch? <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for watching. Jimbo! Right Put it right here. He'll save a dime wherever he can. Was that? I wonder if this that is was symbolic. Tom, I wonder if that was Tom Mabe helping him film. It kind of sounded like him. I feel like he called him Tommy. Yeah. I want to check out the Tom Mabe guy because a lot of people were uh, surprised that I didn't know who he was. Apparently, I feel like his old stuff we probably have seen. I don't know. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Me and Ethan, you're 24, also, right? <laughs> right? You're 24. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're le- we're like. Two weeks apart in age. We're we're both 24. Jesus Christ. (laughs) You had one shot of whiskey, all right? (laughs) (laughs) Ah! Yes. One, two, three.